Hi everyone, good evening everyone and welcome back again to my channel. It's a real girl. <laughs> so, as you can see, we are going to talk about the man that was thrown out of the house by a side chick and you know, which is dusty tunde the ghana must go tunde i was thrown out outside and um there is still another video of this serial long people too okay of both it's not that name you do i miss you so i miss you okay eh? i will beg you you beg me, of course. I you. beg me. You 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 beg me. Then they hear you, boys. Then they hear you, boys. Then they hear you. You beg me. You beg me. So I see the talk box. You beg for every little thing. You. Mommy, uh, <laughs> that is not need for tell me. What I tell where that money lost here and that. Now he walk in place. I want you, I want you, I want you, I want you, you want me say. Yeah, but he sent something. I don't want to say, he sent money. I don't ask her for a single time. I don't ask her for a single time. He tell me. I don't ask her for a single time. He tell me about everything. The money where he sent two million, you know, I don't ask her. Like, you ask her, I want to talk. Like, you know, you ever ask her for a single time for this? You understand? See why you don't make sense. As you can see, you know, long, long, long time ago, we have been told by most of these men that um, we should marry for love, we should marry for this, we should marry for this, we should marry for that, except marrying them for money. Because most of the men from our community, they cannot make money. The things that always make them so afraid is money. Okay, and um, when you know the narrative that has been pushed all over Europe here, that the women in Europe they are very aggressive. The women in Europe they always call the police for their husbands. The women in Europe they are badly behave. There have been so many lies that have been told by these men years upon years. And um, you see, most of our women begin to like um, internalize most of the lies that these men have continued to tell them. They continue to spread it around the internet in Africa that the women in Europe are very disrespectful. The women in Europe are very bad. The women in Europe that are not doing sufficient for 
they are men. The women in Europe are very, they say a lot of things about uh, women in Europe. And I think that 2020 is a year of expulsion, a year that is going to expose so many things to people that really care to understand and to black women that want to really stop internalizing and doing too much for these men because of what they normally say that women are bad, women are this, women are that, women in Europe, the couple is for their husband. They always say these things, but they don't ask question. Why do, why in, in this argument that the police have to come inside? They don't, want, they don't ask question. They don't even care. It, you see them spreading all these lies all over social media that all these women are, are bad, all these women are this, all these women are that. But they don't tell the people in Africa that most of them are jobless, most of them are not man enough, most of them are not doing what their fellow men are doing for their women. They don't, they don't say a lot of things that they are supposed to be doing. You see them spreading lies around. And most of our black women, we internalize this thing that, oh, maybe I'm not doing sufficient. Maybe I need to do more for this man. Maybe I need to do this for this man to satisfy him. That is why you see our women working very hard, even more than the men. You see a lot of them are doing too much just to please the men and you still see them complaining all the time about the women are disrespectful to them the women are not doing this the women are not doing that and you see most of our women are sabotaging themselves you see most of these women they they do they go too far just to please this man you see these women paying rent you see them feeding the children just because they don't want to like um bother the men but you still see them pushing these lies around all the time that they throw me out of the house because of this because of that many of them they don't say the truth but the truth is coming out on 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 their own now we are beginning to see things that was eating before that most of our women normally feel bad about when people spread it around the social media that women over here in Europe are bad, women over here. Meanwhile, these men that are saying all these lies about us, many of them are not working. Many of them are living in the house that is paid by the women. Many of them are feeding other the women. Many of them don't know how to pay their children's school fees. Many of them are practically like they have switched the role that they are supposed to be playing in your life as a woman and many of you still see it okay you don't care you just continue with the relationship and you still see them demanding so much because you choose to take their role as a man you choose to begin to play their role pay the rent do everything and you see them continue to lie and complain and you see all these things are beginning to expose because of the internet this man was arguing with the wife just now. You see, most of our women too, they want to um, pick any man from the streets and bath them or put them into their house and start living with them. Many women do it out of insecurity. They think that um, if they pick a man from the street, that man don't have experience. That man can stay with them. The man ever wise, the man ever open high. They don't know that what they don't understand is that most of these men that are broke, that don't have money, they can play love very, very well. They can play love very, very well with you. They can do a lot of things for you when they don't have money. That is by helping you. That is the there will be a, they can be a very good actor. When they don't have money but when you continue to play their role and everything most of them are just taking you as a woman that they can use to step up their game a woman that they can use to grow up before they can be stable in europe and um you see the you, you see their character you see their behavior overnight and you begin to wonder like 
Is this not the man that I've been with for years? Is this not the guy that I've, I've I, I took from the street and so on and so forth? At the end of the day, you will be like surprised. Don't be surprised because you choose to settle for less. And this person that you settle for has some economical problems and um, they can take anything you offer them that moment. They can just like pretend along with you use it use you as a stepping stone to build up themselves at the end of the day you see them leaving you or maybe you get tired of them taking care of them footing their bills and save their babies and uh, at the end of the day when you choose to level up or stay away from that situation um that this person brought to you that you don't want to be around them or you don't want the relationship anymore, then you see them fall out in, on the street because they have been with you like a baby. They don't know how to walk. They don't know how to build. They don't know how to do practically anything when it comes to money. They spend your money. They drive your car. They stay in your house. That is not what a woman should be doing in the life of a man, providing for her, for him. No. You are supposed to be provided for as a woman. You are supposed to you are supposed to be cared for as a woman. You are not supposed to take a position of a man. And yet at the end of the day, you see this man will just ride over you, pick things from you, and they left. Or when you decide to throw them out like that lady did in the UK, um, because this is one thing that this may normally do over here in Europe. Maybe they will have a wife. They normally like to take the very um, fast track. Fast track to get to where they are going. Many of them are not family orientated. The way we think over there in Africa before that, okay, you stay with your family, you do this with your family, you build with your family. Many of them don't have that mentality when they come over here in Europe. Their mentality is different. It's like, it's all about them, 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 most of the men over here. It is all about them, especially when they are struggling, most of them need you to struggle with them. The moment they struggle pay off, they don't need you anymore. Many of them don't need you anymore. They only need you to support their struggle. The moment their struggle is okay, they don't need to struggle anymore, they don't need you. That is one thing you should know as a woman. Many of them come over here, they don't have document. Instead of them to go around, take the normal process, do something that could make them to, to keep some money, save some money, get their document. No, they can throw away their entire family so quick to get documents. As we heard in the, in the situation of Tunde, that he has no document, um, he has to do this, he has to do that, he has to follow this woman because of one interest or the other. I said this on my video the other day, that ladies, be careful with these men that don't have documents because many of them can be with you just because of interest. Many of them have wives in Nigeria. Many of them do something very secretive that you we think that oh i just found this man new cash he just came from nigeria okay you have to keep him but at the end of the day maybe you are keeping somebody's husband or somebody's father in your house and at the end of the day this person is just playing game with you he has to leave and go see his family or go be with his family whenever you he, he got what he want from you he will leave you that is what many of you ladies should know when you start to engage in a relationship with these types of men that have no document they have no money they have nothing they have no home to stay kindly leave them to arrange their life if you want to help them put the relationship or whatever based on helping them don't have expectation of maybe they are going to be with you later they are going to do this for you no 
when you have expectation with this man about something that maybe tomorrow you people are going to be together, you are going to have the shock of your life at the end of the day. You see how this man, how this man left the first wife and um, with a lot of complaint. Because one thing I noticed too, most of the men, I, I heard that he was accusing the first woman of cheating and etc. etc. Most of these men that normally cheat, the moment they start cheating, they feel very insecure. They project what they do on you. They try to say, oh, you are cheating, you are doing this. Meanwhile, they are the ones that are cheating. There are many situations and there are many types of men like that. When they are lying, they say you are lying. When they are cheating, they say you are cheating. When they are doing something wrong, they try to project it on you. It's a mirror. The mirror is what they are doing on you. At times, you begin to wonder, wow, I don't wonder too much. It is what many of them are doing that they think you are doing. Maybe he was cheating with his side cheek and uh, at the end of the day, the woman took him, him with thinking that maybe he loves her or he's going to be with her. And you see, at the end of the day, she, he gave her the shock of her life. Yeah. When the expectation was not meant, maybe as per the document issues, everything was working and all, because... That first woman you left, nobody is going to be a mumu like her. Nobody is going to be like, um, allow you to use them. Because most of these side chicks that are coming to you, men, many of them are going to behave better than your wife. Many of them are going to be very respectful more than your wife. Many of them are going to be a great cook more than your wife. Many of them can't give you money. Maybe your wife don't give you money because she, maybe she's not a woman that can give you money. Many of them are going to do opposite of everything that your wife is not doing. But guess what? All those things is going to be temporary. It is going to be temporary. Everything they will be doing for you that will make you to fall for them. Because most of you men, you eat with your eyes before you with, before your hands or any other part of your body. Okay? So, you are going to fall for that. Oh, she's, she's better than, than my, my ex-wife. She's so respectful, more than her. She's always behave, she's this, she's that, she's that. Then you run into the relationship thinking that you've got a replacement for your former wife. And at the end of the day, you see when the, the temporary um, pleasing is over, then you begin to see the real pictures of these women that you are dealing with then you begin to complain like oh she's doing this she's doing that she drove me out the house that you were drove off from did you buy the house were you paying for the house were you doing etc etc for the house when you drop your family what were you thinking that you throw away your full family and um, it's easy for you to find a woman that can be so maybe nice, be so naive, be so gullible, be so patient like your former wife. At times, when your hands are not clean, it is very, very difficult for you to find because the way you get them, that is the way you will lose them. That is what many of you don't know. The way you get this man, that is the way you lose them. And the way you get these women, 
that is the way you lose them. If you get them by cheating, you are going to lose them. If you get them by being dishonest, that is the way you're going to lose them. If you get them by throwing away your full family and lie over everything, destroy your family, the woman you left because you want to get on with the side chick, at the end of the day, there is a new thing that is going to happen, which is karma. It does not respect people when they are wrong. It always comes when you don't expect. This man came out on the internet with all his properties at his age. I think people were saying he's an advanced man or whatsoever. He came out with all his property. All of you saw his property at his age. Because I normally say that any man that decides to be walking from one woman to another, cheating, lying, playing around with women, the consequence is very, very strong. That is the problem most of our black men are having, they are having today. Because they are not focused, because they are not stable, because they are going from one woman to another. Lying, having babies they cannot take care of, abandoning their children, and doing all sorts of atrocity that is going to come back to haunt them at the end of the day. Taking decisions that we destroy them. So we saw that man at his age calling a side chick the wife, my wife. And people said they were not married, that um, the woman, they were living together. And in the comment section, there was a lady that was assisting like, um, come go ask him what he did with his first family. Ask him what he did with the first family. Most of our men are used to this behavior over the over here in Europe. I'm happy he said something that after the woman called the police, me myself, I called the police and she called the police. And these lies have been covered up for long. You see them call the police. They will say it's the woman that called the police because people quickly believe them so quick. That, ah, I don't call police for her husband. Ah, I don't call police for her husband. She go call police for her husband. People will just like believe them so quick. And you see these lies has been going on years to years. And many women internalize it. Many women feel guilty when they are being treated very wrong. They begin to move back and die in pains silence because the one who plays these people and the society and we see this behavior continue not until the other day when this woman threw this man's property out he came out as a victim he came out as a victim you looking for document is not enough for you to throw all your family and your children away it is not a full justification if you are a really responsible African man, okay, it is not a full responsibility uh, justification. Just because we are used to lies and um, when the man is dumping Dupe, Vivian is jumping into the boat with Tunde, that is why it is easy for this man to engage in this type of behavior all the time they dump one and take another one they dump the other one and take the other one it is so easy for them that is why i wanted to play the victim card saying that they, they throw away my things outside they have some pay mortgage on blah 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 at the end of the day you see it was all lies let me find that the video it was all lies that um he did something and uh, somebody said on the comment session that the man has, has not been working for you for long 
and then it was the side chick that was paying the rent that um the side chick has to put him on the street so that she could get her life back instead of being with a liability she, it, she decided to put the man out maybe upon all that the man is not paying the bills maybe he is not well behaved maybe he does not treat this woman the way he's supposed to treat her that is why my lady decide to put him outside and who do you blame on that who do you blame are you going to blame the woman I don't blame them. When I saw the video in the first place, in the first time, people were saying, hey, Europe women, Europe women, they are, that's what they do. I never said anything. I put, I just like, was saying in my mind, let them go and ask this, the woman first, what happened? Because the Nigeria woman know that value marriage so much that we, leave their skin in marriage they will not they will not throw away their marriage just because of one thing or the other that is not legit or they will not it is difficult for, for you to see them throwing away their marriage they always try to to keep it free to the last most of them 99% of them they keep they can always do a lot to keep their marriage so that is why when I saw that video I didn't want to rehat because these people they can lie for Africa too much and you see people are so fast to judge people believe them so quick uh the husband threw this the woman threw it, the man out he's paying the mortgage he's doing this so uh, 14 uh, october 2020 yeah the day that my wife she, she tried to you know uh you know uh make a domestic violence on me and she's been doing this for a long time like a slave at home so I caught police, she to caught police, but later police, you know, police realize that she's lying. So come on. With no destination at the moment. So I'm taking all this this stuff to my working place first because I just finished work this morning. I won't sleep, she started again. And to avoid any problem, to avoid any criminal criminal problem. So that's why so police, you know, just left now. So this is the uh, so this is all my stuff 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 and then this is our house this is our house 21 second avenue 21 second avenue that the name so yeah so today is the 14 october 2020 that i left today this place now because of her violence towards me for a long time because of my status with her, she always said she will implicate me, she will put me in prison, she will make me lose my license, blah blah, all the time, slapping, whatever, many abuse, you know, like a slave in the house. I can't bring any friends in, I, and I'm paying the mortgage money for her every month. So, upon I clean all the house, everything, but this woman, I don't know whether she has a mental trouble, I don't know. I don't know what I do for her, but I'm happy that the police take me out because I'm trying this thing for a long time, you know, to be hurt from this house. But uh, I can't do it by myself uh, without the police. So I thank God the police came. So I'm, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. You see me? See, I haven't slept. I finished work this morning, 7. I go my around 8.30. So till now, I haven't slept. This is all my stuff. Everyone I see, 
there are a lot of my stuff inside, but I left it because of the tab, you know, it would be too much, but I, I gave her, I gave her the rest. So, I don't know my destination for now. No, we have to sleep, nothing. I'm, home, I'm homeless for now, but I don't know what to do. I'm waiting for the cab. So, this is my stuff. So, this is my stuff. Yeah. This is a car. This is a car. This torture from this woman is too much. It's too much for me. I'm like a slave in the house. Ah, all my blood pressure all the time. I thank God. Glory to God. I'm hot. A present of the police. Thank you, Lord. <sighs> yeah, today is a. Uh... Why will a man try to be with a woman because he want to get? document you want to get this you want to get that from her is it does it or does it mean that it's only women that can give people documents in this Europe eh? or in London can you get documents just by being with a woman hmm? the only option you have to get your document is by staying with a woman, there are so many options, I think, where you can get your document. But because many of these men, they think they are so smart, it is very easy for them to lodge with a woman. They get their document and pretend to wash plates, pretend to claim, pretend to do this, pretend to be doing everything. And at the end of the day, they have their target, which is the document. You see... Oh, she he washed plate, he would do this, he was living like a slave. You were not happy and you continued to stay because you wanted the document. But when they talk about women in Nigeria, the women in Nigeria are good, the women in Nigeria are this, but you don't need document from these women. You give them money, you give them the ride, you buy car, you buy house, you do a lot of things for them. Many of you won't take money from most of our women here to spend on all those women in Africa. You don't expect anything from those women in Africa. But over here, the women over here, you expect a lot, a lot from them. You expect a lot from these women. That is why it is a problem. When you decide to squat with a woman, hoping to get documents, hoping to get one favor or the other, you can be easily become a slave, the way you said. You can easily have a high blood pressure because you are not there because you love her. You are not there because you care about her. That is why when you wash your plates, it becomes something big for you. When you cook, when you try to help with the rent or do whatsoever for her, it looks like a big deal to you. At your age, you should be dating because you want to date a woman, not because you want document from her. And you know, most of us women, we are very intuitive. We are very spiritual. Maybe this woman must have understand that maybe this man need this document from me. Maybe he sends the, the, the desperacy from 100 miles. Maybe she she sent something from this man that this man does not love me maybe this man does not want me maybe this man just want me for document maybe that was why the mood changed but this lady was not in supposed in the first place to pick up this man from the first woman but because it is something that is common in our community and a lot of women applaud it with if she wasn't behaving properly that is why somebody's snatching 
she wasn't doing properly that was why she lost her husband now now what is the excuse of this man counting one woman to another hmm? what is the excuse Many of you, were, they were putting comments. Now, so did they do for Europe. All these women. Now, so did they do for Europe. But you people don't tell people the interest many of you have come and collect from these women. You don't tell people that. How you want to gain something from the relationship from these women. Without even making them to know that you are there for the papers. Or you are there for their money. You praise the women in Africa that don't have anything to offer you. Many of the women, many of you went to Africa to marry. They don't work. They just take off your children. They're in a big house. Maybe built by another woman. Sweat over here in Europe. Another woman's labor over here in Europe. And you start to praise these women. And how many of you have got a success story? going back to africa to marry many of you come back with same story same men the same story the same men involved in it that behavior that selfish behavior that behavior of looking at these women always come out that is why you see many of them at the end of the day they can't stay with one woman they will have children here have children all over all the places the moment they jump around with this side chick, they forget about their responsibility as a father. They forget about their responsibility as a husband or a head husband. They just like blank. And not until when that relationship goes sour, maybe they have stroke, maybe they have high blood pressure, maybe their waist is broken. Maybe the woman pursued them come up for house. Maybe their cassava is no more working. Who want carry cassava away not the work? Hmm? Who want to carry cassava that is no more working? Maybe something happened to them. That is when they will remember the other women. The other woman that was there from the one. Then the business of the temporary side chick is over. Many of them before, they were thinking that when they leave you as a woman, many of you are going to stay or stick around like our mothers, waiting for their husband. <laughs> waiting for their husband to come back. <laughs> Wait for your husband to come back. Wait for your husband to come back. And I go set on, I go set on, I go set <laughs> And at the end of the day, you see all these women like, you say you don't want again, B. You go, I don't want again. I don't want again. I don't get another woman. The woman better pass you. The woman is so respectful more than you. The woman is so better than you. The woman is so cooked very well. But they will be catching the chin king <laughs> At the end of the day, hmm, you, the woman will go and level up herself, bath, take off herself, love herself so much, forgive herself the former mistake for sleeping with Mr. Tunde. The woman will go and say, Oh, I forgive myself. For the mistake I made. I forgive myself for my time I spent and wasted for this man. I forgive myself for everything. And you see, when you forgive yourself, you glow. You become beautiful. You become happy. You become serena. And when you become all these beautiful things, you attract beautiful people. You attract beautiful soul as a woman. You forget your past that never done you any good. You forget those pains, those hurts. When you have already forget all this pain, you find that dream man that really love and care about you. 
that really want to wife you, that really want to keep you, then maybe you got married, you are with your husband at home, maybe with two days children, then you will not say they will call you. Eh, they throw away back in the street to <laughs> They will not call you like, I don't pity them because I've seen them so much. It's like a, 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 a script that is played by most African men. They will be with you. They will have children with you. Later they want. Later they don't want. Next tomorrow they want. Next tomorrow they don't want. If you'll be able to survive it hmm, and live, better for many of you. Because the time you will begin to enjoy, that is the time the awala will start. It normally happens like that. They will become unstable in that relationship that they have. They will become uncomfortable in that relationship they ha that they have. Because, because of their ego and selfishness and greediness, many of them wanting to, to keep you one place so that they can go and enjoy their lust, their greediness, their... Their foolishness, you will sit down the way mama. You know, they see as your mama take wait for your papa. You know, they see your mama marriage. They want to keep you one place, one corner, where your life will be languishing somewhere. They will be open from one woman to another. They believe that when they finish their waka waka behavior, you will be there like a cupboard waiting for them. To come and if it is sickness, they pick from the streets. If it is demonic spirits, they pick from all the women that they were jumping around with. Whatsoever they pick from these people, they want to come and jump it on you. How do you think you could glow as a woman after a lot of years of pain? After a lot of years of Disappointment, betrayal, low self-esteem, low self-worth, settling down for, for little or nothing. After a lot of years of being the father and mother, you see them appear from the blue to come and tell you the sub story. I am in the street though. You know that girl that I left with that day? He dropped me on the street. Am I your mother? <laughs> I'm not your mother. I'm not your, do I look like your mama? <laughs> Many women don't understand. They want to tell you that sub story. They have confused so many women to leave the man that was supposed to be for them. Many women in some condition like the one Tunde was the other day like they will be starting in their mind <sighs> if they are married now that they are dropping him on the street is the father of my children is this is that should i go back how many times have the leopard changed their spots how how many times have you seen a leopard change those dots in their body they don't change they pull out of that former relationship just to destroy the one that you are building now that is why you have to be wise why they never come when you be so hot when you have never wake up from your pain when you when you will stay inside the death when you will stay with that frank face, with that pain, with that stress, with that low self-worth, with that low self-esteem, where was they? You will not see them, darling. You have to be wise. You will start thinking a lot of things. You will start seeing people telling you, go pick, go now. You think they don't drown for street. Stop pitying this man. They don't pity you when they want to... <laughs> They don't pity you. That is what you should know. They don't pity you. They do it like 
no man's business. That is why you have to live your life. You have to live your own life because they got their life to live. They will never decide to live to favor you. It is even they are coming back is something that is going to work in their favor, not even on your favor. So you will start thinking, ah, I have children for this man. Should I go back? They will say, go back, you know me. Why will you go back? People go forward in life, not backward. You move forward in your life. You don't move backward. There is no way you can move backward and you expect a real life result in your life. A result that will make you to grow. Make you to glow. Make you to be able to position your life the way you want it to be. You cannot be moving for backward. When you choose to fall into that, you are going to lose the relationship that you have and you go back to this person that you have spent so many years trying to correct. You have spent so many years trying to put in order because you are not their mama. But now you are playing the role of their mother, of their sister, of everything to them. Because many of these men, or the many they are grown up, they have no sense. Many of them. They don't have sense. They cannot lead. They just big for nothing. You will begin to correct them. You, they will begin to repeat the same thing that you say you don't want. So, why don't you start from somewhere? Why don't you move forward? In, instead of moving backward. There was a time I was, I was told some said, go back or go back. I don't go backward. I'm somebody that think very, very forward. No matter the situation. No matter how people think about it. What really matters is how do I see this? How is this going to favor me? How is this going to make me happy? How is this going to move me forward in life? Not backward. Because what these people want is to take you one step back. That is why when you see a situation like this, where the side chick say, Shh, adios, <laughs> you have to like step back, take your cup of tea. Hmm? And begin to watch the situation. I go play because it, it no concern you. It does not concern you. Enjoy your relationship that you have. Many men at times are afraid to date some single mothers because you see many of them going backward, going forward, going backward. Take your decision on your life. If this person that you have dated for 10, 15 years they will not good to you one day. They will not, they never make you happy for one month consecutive. Just one month, everything was just going fine. No argument, no cheating, no lying, no betrayal. If the people, they just, they have not make you happy. What will make you think in your head that these people will make you happy after they have seen you go with another man remove your tears clean your face they are going to punish you for doing that because they left you they wanted to come and meet you and they left you but you decide to go an inch from the the border that they set for you so they are going to punish you and they are going to remember you from the day you will set for 12 now. Eh, you were I live for one year. You go go the friend. Mm, at the wallet. You go go the friend this one. You go go the friend this one. There is on your life. When it is over, move on. 
Move on with your life. Life is beautiful. Those hard face, pains, let it go. Don't go back to people that have made your life so miserable for so many years. And you think because they broke up with their girlfriend or their, their woman that you are going to run back there. If you are, if you are fat, go to gym. Go take care of yourself. Level up yourself. Slim down. Look beautiful. Go party. Move around where you can find better men for yourself. Instead of you waiting for their bags to be thrown out in the street for you to pick up the vomit, don't do that. Level up. Take a step forward, not backward. You see how the other video was saying, uh, uh, did I beg you to pick me? Most women are investing in something that is not going to yield them money. They are investing in a bad business. Relationship is like a business. You have to make a good investment. Your time, your body, a lot of things is involved. And you have to put it in order for the people that deserve it. For the people that will invest on it. Not a bad investment. At the end of the day, you regret you when I break pains, whatsoever time wasted, you regret it. A lot of women pick all these men, all this dusty from the street, thinking they are going to change, thinking they are going to be a good man, spend for them. You see, the woman realized, I spent my money, I do this, I do that. The man told him, Did I beg you? He beg you where? <laughs> Did I beg you? You see? Because he never begged you. You were doing what he was supposed to do for you. That was why he told you that. And now many of them are realizing that whew, 10 years ago, I took a bad market. 15 years ago, I took a bad market. And you see, they are so disappointed in themselves. Ladies, May we never go on a bad market. May we never invest our time and our money on men that don't have our time. May we invest on men that are ready to do for us, that are ready to love and care for us. Men that can be for us when we want them, that we know, that we understand that we are women, we were made, we were wired to be careful, to be loved, and etc., etc. Not men that think that we should be taking care of them, we should be doing everything for them, that if we are not doing all these things for them, we are wasting time. You can see how the man was asking how I sent you. Because now she's realizing. You see the man like, maybe that man has already arranged himself because he matched the sharp like the writer just now. Maybe he has already arranged himself. I mean, this is a lone man. The woman was telling, even telling him, you won't sleep this ass today. I think if this man was the person that is footing the bills, as a man is supposed to be if it is the one that is paying for the food doing a lot in the house and appreciate the woman the woman will love and appreciate and respect him you see how the woman was telling him come on they go yes because she does not see any man in you she does not see that man in you not until you allow her to see that man in you, that is when she will respect you. So stop carrying propaganda around women in Europe. They have no respect. They have no this. You can't work 
in the shoe of so many women in this Europe. And so many women as are bad over here. So many women are well behaved, are well behaved, 80 percent are well behaved, maybe 20 percent are bad. Even the 20 percent that are bad, many of them have changed their way, depend the way the men have treated many of them jays. Many of them are the way that they are because of the position that they were made to play. Many women are the sole provider in their family. They provide for their father, mother, brother, sisters. And you expect those women to be feminine? You expect them not to be bossy? When they are carrying a lot of responsibility that a man is supposed to be carrying. So, we have to think very well. Let the men play their role as a man. So that we will not see so many tunde because cold don't start now. So that we will not see many tunde in the streets. Okay? That is what it is. When you lie, it is going to be exposed. This is the internet time. People know so many things. They are going to drop it in the comment section if you are lying. How you left your first relationship as a man, it really matter if karma will visit you or not. Because many of you cause pain. So many pains on the women you left. Many of you choose to abandon your own children because you think you have found another woman. And you, the side chick, you think a man that can wake up or stop caring financially, emotionally, spiritually, nurturing his own flesh and blood, which is his own children. You think you will find love in the hands of that man? Do you think so? A man that will not wake up and say hello, titi, hello, whatever, to, to say hi to his own children. You think you will find love from them? A man that I really feel like don't care about my children. You think he's capable of loving you? I don't think so, but people should think about it. When you choose to, when are you snatching them? You are jumping into the boat. Jump into the boat properly because at the end of the day, this is going to be a public disgrace for all of you that, has, that are really practicing this type of behavior. You think you can have your cake. You can eat your cake and have it back. It is not possible. Let us try to behave ourselves properly. When you are separating as a man, make provision for your children. It does not mean that the moment you stop laying down with these women, your responsibility financially, emotionally, Nurturing your children, being a mentor to your children, being a role model to your children, change. You begin to jump from one cochon to the other. And you think when you are in the street, even 18 years, most of your children are already working. You think those children will rescue you just because you, you have them? They will not. They will not. So that is what I want to say this evening. Men, women, try to behave yourself. Comport yourself in a way that tomorrow you can easily go to where you left before to ask for help. Stop cheating. Cheat. That is, stop to the sheets 
for where you fall, come out. Because at the end of the day, you will need that person. <laughs> you will need that person. You know? I'm not lying. You will need them. You will come and take a new year as we need talk. You will come and say where you sleep. Because the universe is very active. It turn around and will come back to haunt you. That is why you as a man, you have to be just, you have to be honest. The moment you choose to treat any woman bad, the moment you choose to sabotage the life of the mother of your children, think very well because at times it will not be beautiful. Okay, so let me leave all of you because tomorrow I'm going to going to school to drop my son very early and uh, i love you all it is the real year to girl try to love yourself very much think positive and bye bye everyone bye bye don't forget to like and subscribe share the video bye